our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. I would ask that you just listen. Oh, with him. How many boxers do we have in the congregation? Any? We have one. We have two. Great. I'll take it on faith, Lori, that you're telling me the truth. <laughs> so, again, I was invited, and then they said, well, John, you're pretty good at it. Would you like to be in a competition? And I said, wow, thanks for the compliment. I'd love to be in a competition. Later, D.D. had accepted them, wish I had never done that. <laughs> anyway, so, D.D. had accepted them as your nose is put out of whack a little bit. Anyway, so, I was the first person on the card, which means I was the first person to fight this other person. So we climbed in the ring and they gave us these uh, gloves that were heavier than any I've ever put on. They were for boxers that were professional. They gave us, I mean, they were heavy. And if you've ever tried to lift things for a little bit of time, it's not easy. So anyway, and then they, instead of a minute round, they made them three minute rounds. <laughs> I was in great shape, probably the best shape of my life, but come on, three minute rounds with these rocks? I mean, my gosh, it felt like, you know, so the first round came out, and I you know, fighting, fighting, doing well. The people in the crowd are saying, hit him! Good job! Keep going! The second round, hands get a little more tired. You know, they didn't give us much long time in between the rounds either, but still. The crowd got into the fight because he uh, my opponent started bleeding. Of course, stop the fight and fix it and put some Vaseline on it, wipe it down, whatever. So the third round, I had pinned it in the corner and I was hitting him. And the crowd said, kill him! <laughs> Knock his head off! And of course, my hands were just, I was just so tired, I stepped away, and this poor kid standing in the corner doing this in the corner of the ring, and I'm standing in the center going, I got nothing else, baby. And I got nothing else. And they're still saying, Kill him! Knock his head off! We've come to see a good fight! Get in there! People lose themselves in the crowd. People lose themselves and become someone else. Maybe someone that they don't want to be, but it still happens. Jesus comes humbly and he fights the world. He truly fights the world. And he is betrayed with a kiss. 
He is denied by his followers. A foolish gesture by a leader saying, I wash my hands of this. He is the one making the decision, brothers and sisters, so that's why I say it's a foolish act. Jesus stands before them, and these people say, we have no king but Caesar. Their king is before them, fighting so that we might be saved. Fighting so that we might know the love. Fighting that we might have faith even today. They lead him out, and the crowd doesn't say kill him, they say crucify him. The crowd that just days before were saying, Hosanna! Save us, is what Hosanna means, as you recall. Save us now! Now these same people have been inspired with a different message. A message of hatred. Jesus is flawed, and now he has to fight for his life, even to live. Now, flogging sounds so simplistic, it's not. It is horrific. It's horrific. Standing bloody before these people, he carries a cross, and it's just not down the street, it's quite a distance to carry the cross. The pain that he must have endured fighting for our salvation, fighting that we might change, fighting that we might know God loves us so much. And from the cross, fighting for every breath, fighting in one account the person next to him says, Jesus, remember me. Jesus is fighting for his salvation as well. Jesus says through this battle, he says to those who have gathered there and wait, he says, forgive them. Brothers and sisters in Christ, COVID has inspired people to be a part of a crowd. A crowd of angry people. People who have taken sides and they will not listen to each other. I have coined the phrase secular isolation. We come together, though, in the secular isolation in anger rather than in love. The stress and despair rather than hope and faith. We, the people of God here at St. Paul, we must stand and fight. To love our brothers and sisters. We have to stand and fight to offer the message of Christ that transforms the world. We must put down the voices that say, crucify him, and stand and say, follow him. This fight is ours. Don't get lost in the crowd. Let me say it again. Don't get lost in the crowd. We were not there, but we are here. And we are called to share a message of hope, joy, love, celebration based in pain and suffering. I rejoice that you are here. 
when you go there to the world go out fighting and all God's children said